Marksman Hopefully meta we, is real. We hope to see another Marksman meta. We're going to move on to game, sorry, round three of Mystic Burden versus We Own World. We Own World will be in the blue side while Team Mystic Burden will be on the, the red side. This is, is the fight for that last point. The final game of yep. the series. Natalia yet again being taken out. Does not want Dominus to be under Natalia at all. The target man, more like a respect man yes. coming in from We Own World and Selena. Ooh. They Your use it, they know how strong fine. it is, but right now they know We Own Wolves does have the first pick. Yep. They really do want smart, to risk it. Really smart of them. Yep. They do not want to see Selena getting picked by the We Own Wolves right there. And we have to give credit to all the teams who have been showing here today. I think we did see the rise of uh, having a marksman in their lineup. So that's a great cause and action. And we did see good wins coming in from these players or these teams taking a marksman in their place. So. It opens up a lot of opportunities. The Even they don't have the pure assassins to be in line, they still have the marksman for a backup here. And I'm can't, I can't wait for the new hero to come in. If Cloud is in, oh, oh it's gonna be fun. Oh, not just yet though, yeah. because he just released. Yeah. Correct. So it looks like the ban comes in for uh, WoW, or We Own World. Hayabusa. Be Hayabusa. So Hayabusa. leaving Mystic Burden to choose the poison again. Yet again, it could be the Grog, it could be the Jawhead. Let's see what uh, Mystic Burden chooses to give away for the first pick. It could be the Hellcut as well, that I was saying, and the ban was there. Does not want this sneaky, sneaky little mouse all over the map. <laughs> a, little, a little bit of darkness. Right. A little bit of darkness is not too good for We On Worlds. We On Worlds. Will we going for the Gronk though? Your favorite hero, your favorite, favorite. I mean, he's a tank, he's a tank player, right? I'm a tank player. That. My favorite hero is actually Hilda, but yeah, Gronk. Hilda? Yeah, Hilda is actually pretty good during right. back in Season 1. But again, Gronk is more of the meta tank already, and surprisingly, in this game, they're just letting Grog away. Perhaps they know there's a counter for Grog, which most likely will be the marksman in the game itself. This is why I said, even though you don't have the, the, the assassins that you need, picking. you're giving out meta tanks like Grog, who's dealing a lot of impact in team fights. But if you have a counter, which is perhaps the marksman to deal a lot of damage, to burn down Grog, that will be the solution. That's the solution right. needs time, though. That's right. They need a lot of time to do. Do agree with that. And yep. also, they might be going for the Cho and Jawhead right here because it's just a great combo. And Cho, Jawhead will not be <laughs> the combo. I was about to say, they don't need Cho later onwards because I feel like they need damage. Uh, teams from the patterns that we see, they will normally get Your core heroes first. Picking. If they don't have like, maybe perhaps the top band heroes are being banned again, they will go for core damage heroes. After that, they'll move on to the fighter initiative for the fighter right. meta. You can see that Ooh. Chow and Fanny will be it's selected. Picking. So I mean, very nice. That's a very nice We selection. had two highlights on key players. Okay. Zon is great at Fanny. Yep. X-Ray is great at Fanny as well. <laughs> so X-Ray might be... I mean, we have seen Zon play some Fanny, unfortunately unable to carry his team to victory, but maybe X rays as Fanny might be might 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 do the trick. Along with the Cho pick up and we don't see Mystic Burden picking up the Cho. We on walls will be picking the Cho. My money's on Beyond Walls right now. Well, let's see about the drafting first. Uh, you can see Your that Vexana and Akai will be selected. I prefer this lineup. I think they take your advice. Which lineup was it? The, you, you initially thought that Gato Kacha could be replaced with another uh, tank, perhaps there Akai or High Loss. They, they follow your advice. They follow your advice. They yes. did not take Gato Kacha. Hire me as your coach, <laughs> Mystic Burden. And uh, they are going to run out with the Vexana. I find the Vexana's pick uh, initially was a bit illogical, but when I think about it, it's to counter the strongest tanks because you can use the ultimate to clone the tank itself for the dead person or your own tank. So they did it really well. <laughs> Yi Shun Shin! Ooh. Yi Shun Shin! Ooh, the marksman meta is real! Not only that, it was Yi Shun Shin. Of all marksmen, they could have gone with Carrie, they could have gone with Super, perhaps Moscow. Yi Shun Shin is back already, and this will prove beneficial for the team fights. Yi Shun Shin was never nerfed. Was never nerfed. Yep, he was has never always been he's always been very strong. It's yes. just new heroes coming in that outshines him. Correct. And he does have the global ultimate. <laughs> it looks like Team Mystic Burden another is going to play a marksman. Another one and another one. Ladies and gentlemen, for the very... Okay, I will say the second time in MPL, because the first time was Roger and Carrie the, in the different teams, uh, for Icon versus uh, WoW. This time around, we're going to have Yi Shun Shin going up against Carrie and Ko. So it's going to be fun. We own World going against Mystic Burden, both teams. 
with the MM uh, Edo predictions right now. Predictions. They're too much, man. I can't design it. Okay, which one which one is better? I do feel that carry is a little bit better. But however, Yi Sun Shin is more of a supportive marksman yes. where he ha Play does have the and also he has the Global Arena yeah, effect. The global ultimate yeah. and also the melee and range uh, what's that called? Fighting style. Yeah. So he's able to get go in and be the fighter, or he's able to be the marksman. Predictions first. Come on, you have so to give us predictions. No, I was trying to avoid it, but I have to go oh, with to Mystic avoid. Burden because they were doing well. They had the momentum in the second game, and they might just take it away from Beyond Walls, tilting a little bit in the second game. I want to give hope to Wow with the Yishun Shin. It's been a long time since I've seen a great Yishun Shin. Shout out to. And the LY4, LY4, LY4 for playing a great Yishun Shin. We might see Mihawk doing the same thing in this game. We on world going against Mystic Burden, fighting for the last point in round three of their matchup. And the turtle will spawn at the bottom side. Not my favorite spot. Every time joking about that, but eh, it's not my favorite spot over there. The matchups at the top lane, you can see that Grok and Fanny against Jawhead and Vexana. Well, the mid lane, Lancelot and Gushen, no surprises there. Their rivalry in the mid lane continues on. As Yi Shen Shin with Chow going up against Akai and Carry, so it's gonna be fun. Yeah, X Rays of Fanny uh, has not been disturbed just yet because the Grog has been protecting his uh, her farm really well on on this side of the map. However, Chow the Jit Kondo was good. Oh, three men on the bottom side. Rion Wells gets the. Uh, Crap for themselves. Zorn, Dominus, and Nines will be looking for a kill as well. Fanny has to back away from oh, that bit. Oh, here comes the Fanny fight over here. Fanny wants to deal enough damage, but then Ooh. the tank is down to the slit of a health, able to save Vin away from any danger. But then there's no secure uh, secure kills coming in from both sides of the team. The bottom lane, however, Cho acting as the hybrid tank and initiator might prove useful for Yishun Shin because Yishun Shin can finish them off with the global ultimate which time is about to come. Four levels already, he has the ultimate. He can wait for the right moment turtle to strike them back. Soon. The right mo 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 moment could be the turtle being spawned yep. right now. We almost all, oh. however, Zon getting the X-Ray, but X-Ray being a little bit of sneaky <laughs> Ray will be running away he's from that, my lord. And he's able to run away with the steel cables just on the just in time, cable. even though getting stunned from the respective heroes Ooh, on that. He oh. throws it away? What? <laughs> he, that's a very nice <laughs> knockback. Interesting. Interesting indeed. The fight for the turtle will launch on already. Both teams trying trying their very best to oh, at least the contest the turtle and it looks like Mystic turtle. Burden will get the first turtle giving them the goal advantage of 150 oh. for everybody oh. in the members here but first blood coming in again for Mystic Burden as Gushen Dominus again proving what? Dominus as what the heck <laughs> of Vexana's clone onto uh, the dead uh, member of We Own World a traitor play but <laughs> unfortunately traitor is not here but my goodness what a play from Vexana wow Ooh, the curse the curse the curse is real <laughs> as Fanny is taken down by the compatriot of Lancelot. Mystic Burden, 2 to 0, 3 minutes in already, 7.5k gold to 6.3k gold. My money is secured, my money is there, my gas coin is secured as well. Mystic Burden doing well early into the game, but let's not be too sure about it. Or let's not count We Own Worlds out right now because they might be leaving it to living up to their name. The underdog story is here. The stun is good. Kuja gonna kick. The carry is getting caught out. Yusun Shin goes for the snipe but does not get enough. Kuja with the ultimate. Oh, from the Yusun Shin might be getting away but jumps away though. The carry almost, almost dead with I a mean, of health. I mean, carry can actually do something, can invade those attacks coming in here but then, you know, it's something that is just to scare them back. Meanwhile, Fanny is able to take down the Nas. Only Vexana over here, and it looks like Fanny is down to a slither of health. She's gonna run away, able to secure the kill and running back. Wow, they are gonna do the wild thing over here as Grog Walls did not connect to the respective heroes, but then put up so much pressure. Mid lane, however, Zorn taking off the solo turret, and Fanny oh. he needs to run away. Jaw hit, you're not oh. gonna push your limits over here. Nice knockback coming in as he's trying to juke everybody about. He's managed to juke out not one, Turtles not two, but three members soon. of Team We Own World. 
and giving Kuja the open lane. Zoran on the jaw hit was like, you know what, I play a better fanny. I'll just walk away from that, no problem. You I, can't cable. You I, can't cable well. Yes, indeed. And I feel like Mystic Burden is playing the lanes perfectly. Like, they want to put one pressure onto this lane and then move on to the other lane. You have to split your forces to defend the base or defend at least the merry moment. We own the world, they have a lot of mobility, but the mobility isn't at the right point. They stick together way too much, giving one lane open for Mystic Burden to take the kill. That's or to right. take at least the turret Ooh. from there. We own world, looks like they try to start something here with the team fight, but then it oh. will be Mystic Burden to follow up with the kill. D, Yushun Shin will use the global ultimate, but then it will not stop. Oh, Yushun Shin is actually very low HP, wow. floating with Lancelot. But then they are able to run away again. A little bit of mis miss opportunity right yeah. here coming in from Mystic Burden. But this could mean, I mean, forcing Yushun Shin and Lancelot away could mean that they could able, they'll could they be able to take the turtle. But they do not take that as well. They do not punish We Own World enough, I would like to say. They were not doing enough. I mean, with the kill advantage, with... Uh, you know, with the force uh, coming in from Mystic Burden. I mean, a little bit of missed opportunity. Very wasted. <gasps> well, maybe they want to take oh. the Oh no, look at that. Jawhead going one on one with oh, Fanny. Oh man. Fanny inviting Jawhead. Hey, come on, let's have a one on one. But then loses to Zorn's Jawhead ahead. Uh, Axe Ray has to fall down to the graveyard as the rest of the members between We Own World and Mystic Burden will go head to head. Mystic Burden will lose to that trade kill of We Own World. And now it's one to one kill. Both wow. teams are very, very head to head right now. It's head to head, it's neck to neck. Both are ready to slit their each, uh, each other's throat. But <laughs> the, that Fanny, though, that Fanny tried to have a fight with Zorn, and Zorn, being a Fanny player, does know how Fanny works. It just bursts the Fanny down right away before he, she's able to get away. Kuja, a little bit of uh, being out of position right here. My goodness, the Lord is already there though. So six minutes is almost in the late game. The trail oh, is good. The way of the dragon hits over here as the knockback comes in, but it isn't enough to save Jaw Hit from the clutches, from the clutch of deaths in here. And if you notice that Jaw Hit were to fight with Fanny, there was actually another hero supporting Jaw Hit. If I'm not mistaken, it was Kuja's uh, carry. That time they were supporting him and it would burst down Fanny really, really fast with the duo. So it wasn't a fair fight if it's a one -on one 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 trade. However, fair fight doesn't matter as long the victory counts. The team right now that is controlling lanes is Mystic Burden. Mystic Burden wants to go in for the kill. They want to control every single lane. It is still is still quite the, yeah, it's still neck to neck. Luffy getting away with the show, but it's, it looks like being surrounded by Mystic Burden. Mystic Burden, Dominus. Ooh, 1v3. But let's get away. Oh, the Sea Wind Smoke as well. Jumps away with Incansenders with the Gushin. We'll be getting away from that really freely. His backup is there, but a little bit too late, I would like to say. If we on Wolves did catch the Gushin right there, and then he might be dead. On the top side of the map, however, Carry will be going for the second. Here, turret on top side. X-ray will be clearing the wave and jumping away with steel cable. And it's just eight minutes in already. It's still the save. There's no clear advantage for each team. They're playing re really safe. It's the last game, and it just means a lot to take the series. It's just one point up. I feel like the they also want to take the advantage of the marksman meta because they have to farm their heroes. Whoever's marksman is able to get their most sets of heroes, uh, items, or core items, oh. they're able to do it. But then the war comes in already until Fanny getting slain by Carry at the top what? lane. Once again, the one versus one fight did not work out for X Ray's oh, Fanny. No. The rest of Mystic Burden. They know that this is an opportunity to do the split pushing. Carrie at the top lane. She's trying to deal as much damage or try to open up the opportunities. Oh, look at that. Uh, Luffy is over here trying to use Chow and she's gonna back away. But then again, this shows the clear state that, hey, do not mess with our carries or our marksman here. Our, our marksman, marksman is better. That's right. My guess it's coin farm already. is It's secure. really powerful already. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> My god. Kuja on that carry. Really great positioning though. Jawhead. Looks like it's gonna be a 
intrusion over here and Mystic Burden. They are very, very aggressive. They're going to fight behind enemy lines. They want to take down the turret. They want to take down the heroes. Defending the turrets over there. Another death comes in for x race Fanny. The rest of We Own World. They can see their wall crumbling into pieces because kills are coming in. Luffy, the last member down below. And he will get killed off here. Wow, now, Yishun Shin, he's trying to fight oh. for his dear life. What is he doing? What? He's Enemy not going to survive this fight. This is going to be an unofficial team wipe, wipe out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. But and we don't see them going for the Lord the though. They go. For, they went for the tower. It's a little bit... I do question a little bit uh, how Mystic Burden plays. I mean, don't get me wrong. The team, fight, the team fighting skills are great, but they're not getting you know, as much as possible out of their profits. I feel like, yes, maybe that's one thing, but they don't want to risk it. Again, most of the members, they don't have the tanks. I think Jawhead was down. Gushin as well, another damage dealer was down. So they don't have that flexibility to at least risk the Lord for the taking. So they will wait another round. They have done their part. They have done their duty. Yes, they can risk it if it's they want true. to. They can go for it, but I don't think it's a good move. Uh, for my end, it's a smart move, a slow, Whoa, smart move. Meanwhile, Jawhead connects with the push, but then could not find the members over here as Grok is able to run away from trouble. We own world, they're going to survive one more time. And it looks like it's just, we own world is just de delaying the inevitable. Mystic Burden is just playing very slowly. They want to make sure that Kuja, aka Carry, is fully farmed. Level 13 already, by the way. It's gonna be fun to see that last moment when Kuja hits max level, he max uh, items. We all the world just gonna shred into butter. We do see Lancelot uh, trying to push the side lane on the bottom side, but more action coming in. Fanny will be going. Oh, the Yi Sun Shin pick up with the global <laughs> ultimate. My goodness, Lancelot is a little bit low. Yeah, no, oh, Fanny is running away from there. Unfortunately, the flicker comes in for Jawhead, finishing the move onto the kill trade. And I was about to say, you know, Fanny finally get the revenge over Carry, but oh. she's like, nope, I'm gonna get a kill. Nope. That's right. That's <laughs> it's a right. Kill steal, by the way. So Mihawk, you did X-ray some dirty mm. dirtiness. <laughs> mm, hanky panky over there. But anyways. Looking at the conditioning right now, Mystic Burden, they're just looking in the bushes. They're just waiting for the right time. They're just waiting for the time. That opportunity. For oh, there you go. We oh, there you go. The come in and they will get it over here. Here comes the push. Here comes the fight. Chow will be the first victim to say, Oh my goodness, I got caught up by the trap. And the top lane pushes on. However, the top lane, Lancelot is pushing the turret, but then again. Team Mystic Burden, they said, you know what? We can risk this one. We can risk a tier 1 turret. It's, it's a little bit fall safe. Down right? It's a little bit safe right now. Yeah. And the Lord will be the main oh priority no, Grok. part. Grok comes in here. This is where the most deadliest part coming from Grok. Will they steal it? No, oh. they won't. Grok will serve. What will die? For the Lord and the Lord will not be taken. Dragon, meanwhile, he's gonna continue pushing in the top lane. He's gonna punish Mystic Burden for taking the Lord and trying to steal that. Dragon wants to run away from there. Too easy for Jack V missing the blender over, over here. Kick. And oh, look at Dominus. He's gonna get stuck over oh. here. And uh, oh, he's gonna run away safely. He's gonna use his item skill for that. That was that an active winter. skill. If that I'm was Winter Turchin. Winter that was really, wow. really great item. That you will be ah. invulnerable for two seconds. Okay. And, and then you can just run and, away. And just like quick. that. Wow, that just was like And you will be invulnerable. Yeah. Which item was that again? Winter Turchin. Winter Turchin. Wow, right. guys, if uh, I was really surprised. I was, uh, I was hoping amazing, that Amazing, amazing yeah. play by the Gaussian. Dominus knew, knew what he had to do. Yes. He went in, he tried the aggression. He the did, it did not work well, but he get out really safely. So right now we see Mystic Burden sieging the towers on the top side of the map. The wall is good from Gronk, but will it be enough to stop Our this? He's just delaying the red and the <laughs> Inevitable, uh, my inevitable, dear friend, because they goodness. are fighting 7 versus 5. The clone, the Lord, is coming in, is coming hot. As the oh. rest of Mystic Burner will go in with the kills. Jawhead, carry, my oh my. They are going to continue on. Akai, so slid of health, oh. but then could not be finished. Triple kill comes in. Skibbity Papa, Mystic Burden, this is your game to win. You will walk away with 2 points over We Own World.
And there you go, Mystic Burden, 2-1, to one, getting 2 points over We Own Worlds during the first week, second day of the regular season. My oh my, Mystic Burden showing that they are the all-stars to be watched about. Woo, Mystic Burden, after that first loss in the game, sorry, the round one, they managed to come back from it, and I think this is the item you're talking to me. That's right. With, uh, what is it again? Winter Turchin. Winter Turtle, okay. Winter Turchin. <laughs> winter Turchin. It's and blue in color, so And here's winter. the fun part, Dominus is not taking any turrets. Literally, there's no turrets taking from him. He was zero on turret damage. But then, you can see that Mystic Burden being so composed after that first loss, they are calm and composed. They continue on defeating uh, We Own World in the second round. Oh, the second round.